What the? Are you kidding me? Artificial intelligence? Or artificial dumbness? That's not a triceratops. <laughs> Five dinosaurs we all know and love. Can artificial intelligence create, imagine, can it produce scientifically accurate images of these amazing creatures? Oh, and at the end of that, we're gonna create one last creature, something very familiar. Let's get into it. All right, so for this test, we're using the ever popular Mid Journey through Discord, and we're gonna start off with a very familiar dinosaur. Who knows and loves the Triceratops? I do, three horns, frill around its neck, pretty amazing creature, everyone knows what that looks like. Let's see if Mid Journey does. Imagine a scientifically accurate Triceratops, photo realistic in the jungle. Boom. All right, we'll wait for that to process. So what Mid Journey does is it creates four different images for you to look at. So surely it's gonna get something right, something close to it. Uh, yeah, we might speed this up a bit. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Artificial intelligence or artificial dumbness? That's not a Triceratops. All I'm seeing is a rhinoceros. Look at this, top left up here. Far out, that's just a rhinoceros with three horns. It got the three horns right, Triceratops, but... Wow, interesting, they all look like rhinos. Look at this one, bottom right hand corner. Its horns are massive. It's got a bazillion horns, like it hasn't even gotten the, gotten the frill of a Triceratops. Man, the colors are interesting, but... Look, I must admit, that's a pretty wild imagination and Unfortunately, nothing like a Triceratops. Oh, that's pretty disappointing. What do you guys think? I mean, it's cool, looks cool, but man, definitely not a scientifically accurate dinosaur, Triceratops. All right, we're gonna give you a second shot. Imagine a realistic, hmm, what should we do? How about a good classic? t Tyrannosaurus. Rex, photo realistic. And we'll make that 16 by nine. And boom, surely it knows a classic T-Rex, honestly. All right, we're back and whoa, man. Okay, this is looking a little bit better. This is a bit more interesting. I mean, that, that looks like a T-Rex to me. Look, top left, that looks pretty epic. Top right as well. No, that looks great. The head looks fantastic. I love the jaws and very Jurassic Park vibes. Very Lost World. Maybe not so scientifically accurate, but man, look at the bottom right, the red and... Ooh. I tell you what, that one on the bottom left, that's got some funny hands going on. Almost look like human hands. Four fingers. We all know Rexy only has the two claws, so that's pretty interesting. So I think, I mean, it's not bad. Which one do you guys like? I actually think, I think the, the top right and top left are actually really well done. I think they look great. I'd love to see what the rest of its body's like, but um, yeah, head-wise, not too bad. I'll give you a pass there mid-journey. That's pretty good. Not scientifically accurate, but great imagination. All right, let's try number three. Imagine a scientifically accurate i know pteranodon photo realistic boom all right and we'll just wait for that one again test number three how will it do mid journey let's see all right and it is done wow Okay, right. Now, what are we seeing here? We're seeing dragons. We're seeing birds. I'm not seeing anything that looks like a pteranodon. Possibly top right hand corner kind of looks, it's got the like spike out the back of its head like a pteranodon. But man, that's, I mean, look, this one on the left hand corner down, uh, down here, flip, that just looks like a terrifying dragon. And that, honestly, top left looks like a bird. Look, I don't think that looks anything like a pteranodon. Pretty incredible image, but not a pteranodon. Far out. Maybe if you wanted to create a dragon, 
It's good at imagining dragons. All right, I'm going to say that's a fail. That's uh, one out of three. Let's go for number four. Okay, who can you guess which this one's going to be? I think we're going to go for another fan favorite. Surely it knows a Stegosaurus. All right, here we go. Imagine a scientifically accurate Stegosaurus. Boom, there it goes. All right, I think it's loaded. Let's have a look. All I'm seeing here is Ankylosaurus. That looks nothing like Stegosaurus. Man, I guess the bottom right there, it's got some weird spikes going on on its back, on its butt, but no, nah, I think that looks like an Ankylosaurus. Definitely not a Stego. No Stegosaurus I've ever seen. Almost a cross between a Triceratops as well. It's got two horns, top right hand corner there. Two big horns just punching out of its head. Definitely not a Stegosaurus. Okay, fifth, fifth chance. Here we go, our favorite. Velociraptor, let's check it out. All right, it's here, the Velociraptor. Oh, man, that's not too bad. Look at that, we've even got some little feathers going on there. Top right hand corner, oh, bottom right hand corner as well. That's pretty impressive. I love the red it's got in its skin. That's pretty, pretty epic. Bottom left, kind of. No, oh, I like that. I think that's a pass. That's very close. Again, very um, animated and like dragon-like. Incredibly realistic images in terms of quality, but, but very mythical feeling. Not very scientifically accurate. I think my favorite out of those, tell me what you think's your favorite, but I would think I like probably top left, this one here. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, now I promised you guys we'd do a crazy image at the end. This could be scary, but I'm gonna try it. I am, after all, Antosaurus. Can it imagine me as a dinosaur? Let's check it out. Imagine a human merged with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's see, this could be scary. What are we gonna create? <laughs> ah, here we are. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I see it. A human body with a dinosaur head. Well done, my journey. That looks pretty cool combination. Whew, look at those gnarly spikes off the back of the head. That's flipping epic, especially bottom right hand corner here. Ooh, if I was gonna pick one of them, I think I quite like, oh, which one looks like me? Ah, uh, what do you guys reckon? I'm gonna go with top right hand corner. That looks pretty comical. Big head, I have a big head. That'll do, what do you reckon? New Antisaurus logo? Nah. Well there you have it, Dino fans. Artificial intelligence or artificial dumbness, I'll let you decide. But if you want some true scientific dinosaur information, check out my dino facts over here. Otherwise, Antisaurus out.